60-second economics on the prisoner's dilemma. Now, this dilemma shows that rational, self-interested behaviour can lead businesses to a worse collective outcome than if they'd cooperated. Uh, the dilemma comes from game theory and model situations where individual rational decisions can lead to a worse collective outcome. Each agent, two firms for example, chooses the best option given what they think others will do. But both agents have an incentive to cheat even though cooperation could make everyone better off. So consider two airlines, they're flying the same route. They can either keep prices high or cut prices to, to attract passengers and gain market share. A high price plus high demand equals maximum profit, but each airline fears the other will undercut. So if airline A keeps prices high, airline B is tempted to cut prices and gain passengers. If airline B keeps prices high, airline A is also tempted to cut instead. So cutting prices seems like the best move whatever the other airline does. And as a result, the equilibrium is that they both keep prices low, but lose profit compared to cooperation. Indeed, collectively, they make lower profits. And this is the Nash equilibrium. But if they cooperated, both could keep prices high, securing higher revenues and higher profitability. However, cooperation is unstable because cheating on an agreement gives an immediate gain. Now, here's a table showing some of the possible profit outcomes in a payoff matrix. Both airlines charge high prices, each earns £10 million of profit. Indeed, that's the best joint outcome, a combined profit of £20 million. But if one cuts the price, they steal market share, they earn £14 million, the other firm only £4 million. So the equilibrium is they both charge a low price and make only £6 million profit each.